see if we are really serious for investing in the future of India. I would say we will have to seriously invest in Indian research. Because at the global landscape and platforms and all the quality rankings, we have not been performing very good. Our universities still don't count among the first hundred quality institutions globally. So what is needed at the moment? And we also remember that when was the last time that we received a Nobel in sciences. I'm not talking about the literature and peace. Things are clear. India cannot afford to not invest in research today. Creating a global mark and creating that strong footprint and that scientific hegemony, we need to invest in research. There's no doubt about it. We will have to get serious about it. And one more most important impediment that our research is facing today is that we don't have motivated researchers who are the, you know, the major portion of our researchers are not the people who had, you know, at the very beginning thought to be researchers actually. Since they couldn't get absorbed at their plus two level or they couldn't qualify for the professional courses, they happen to fall in the arenas of research. The people, most of them, never thought to be actually that they would be researchers, one. They are not motivated enough to be researchers. For them, it is, I would say, Game Rozgar, source of income, to run their families. Therefore, even if they do, they do it for the sake of, you know, income. And research infrastructure at the largest scale around the country needs a strong boost, needs a strong investment, needs a strong funding, so that it upscales itself and it comes to that mark, that international standards mark, wherein India can look straight into the eyes of the global giants as far as the, you know, index of research is concerned. If we look at the innovation today, Globally, do we count anywhere? We will have to look for that as well. Diplomatically, we have a strong outreach to the whole world. But we will have to create that outreach as far as our research footprint is concerned globally. Given India's youth bulge, and that youth bulge to be turned into a potential skilled and scientifically developed human resource. Our institutions have to be the best so that in future they can provide researchers to the whole world because of our, you know, population I must say, population and younger, younger lot. When you have about 65% of the country very young, then that dividend has to be reaped well. And this preparation should start now. Investing in research therefore clearly means investing in the future of India and for that make researchers rich don't impoverish richer the researchers greater will be the quality of the research
A researcher cannot be poor, a researcher cannot be needy or cannot be left to fend for himself, herself. They need to be self-sufficient, they need to be very rich so that they contribute to the research footprint of the country. So that all our indices on the global platform improve and reach that optimum. That's what is needed at the moment, friends. Upscaling our standards would need investment, would need funding. Therefore, we will have to work for that. It needs political will. It needs a fair share of GDP to be spent on education, on education infrastructure, especially on the research infrastructure. And for that, our higher educational institutions, research institutions, should be given a major boost. Our institutions should be rich. They can't be poor. Therefore, friends, we will have to resolve it now. Motivated researchers, inclined researchers, planned researchers, who have that mindset of a researcher. Not just an unemployed lot that couldn't otherwise, you know, get absorbed anywhere, so let them come in research. Since they are getting old and have nothing to do and no jobs are there in the job market and that's why they would be researchers. That is a greater fallacy and that is a disaster, hidden disaster. What would they be contributing in future to the arena of research and where we are facing a global strong competition? They can't simply because even if they are in, they are not producing any quality output and India has to get Nobel, Nobel in science, Nobel in physics, Nobel in chemistry, Nobel in medicine. Economics and an equal boost should be given to social sciences when we are talking so much about natural sciences. Funding for all the social research that's equally important has to be there. Research can't be poor. If it is poor, definitely the quality will be less. It has to be thought through seriously and funding has to be amply increased. Thank you so much.